All right, I'm back. Bye, Proud. Thanks for coming. Have a good sleep. Uh, since I have mods here, can one of you guys, like, check the baseball score for me? Because I don't feel like it. <laughs> and I'm not copying any more haikus. If you want to copy them, you got to do it yourself. Um, so yeah. Thank you, Sam. I can always trust you to troll. Um, you should definitely sleep if you can, Robin. 100%. Ugh, fine. Fine mods. I see how it is. I'm gonna look up the baseball score myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already looked at it. It's fine. What's the point of having mods if you can't do simple tasks for me? God dang it. <sighs> All right. So... Did all that, caught up on that stuff, crossed some things off my list. Cool, that's all the flash fiction challenges done. It's what we're for, proud, it's what we're for. So what do we have left? We have the old runes short story, before the magic ended short story, that uh, piece for Jirani, which I haven't finished yet, um, but she's not looking for that for a while. What do you mean disappear? I'm gonna be home all day. <laughs> I'm not planning on going anywhere. Well, that's that's the question, Sam. That's the question. Um, yeah, so we got two issues of Fear the Siren left, two short stories, and the one flash fiction piece, which is nearly done. So 
That's good. You know what I mean. Do I? So chat, what do you want to talk about? Let's talk about something about writing. All this dead air is hype. Shh. Quiet, Sam. Come on. <laughs> I made you talk. Uh, what boundaries... Robin, I I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whew, excuse me. Uh, so if anyone, does anyone have any cool projects they want to talk about that they're working on? Uh, I finished the first draft of a short story uh, two days ago. I am working on the first draft of another short story, and I hope to be working on a comic book script very soon. I need to just finish ironing out what I think the whole arcs are going to be, and then it'll all start coming together. Um, so that's all stuff I'm kind of working on off stream. Um, yeah, it's exciting. I have a short story uh, sitting in limbo that uh, the limbo called magazine submissions. It's going to be a while yet before I hear back for that guy. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll end a little early today. Maybe. I just don't have enough time to like really get into something. <laughs> so I don't. I don't want to like like write for twenty minutes and not do anything else, sort of thing. Um, Yeah, you're still working on uh, Dreamers, right, Sam? That short story? It seems cool. And I think Spooky is where that needs to go, if you ask me. Um, yeah, and you're, Robin, you're working on NaNoWriMo stuff. Right? 
kind of keep track of all my all my peeps. It's gonna need a new title. Okay, I'll think about it. Hello, Milan, Harris, Dev. What's going on? Yeah, I need to shave. Uh, I guess I could talk about some of the stuff I got coming up. That's, uh, I could do that. Oh, Mylan, sorry. <laughs> Apologies. Um, so New Adult is a genre. Cool, man. Game dev is hard. <laughs> I've, I've tried it. It's difficult. But it's an interesting challenge, and it presents narrative concepts in a totally different way, which is interesting. And I would like to explore that more at some point. Um, but yeah, so for those who don't know, um, every second Monday me and MC Pepper Fox himself, Sam work on, uh, have a podcast where we read and talk about books. Uh, currently we're reading the dispossessed by Ursula K. Le Guin, this bad boy right here. We usually, that would mean our next episode is on the 17th, but, uh, that's Easter Monday. So we're actually going to reschedule for, um, Monday the 24th will be the next stream for that. We'll be finishing The Last of the Dispossessed. And then the third, the book we're going to be reading after that is um, The Black Company by Glenn Cook, which is supposed to be pretty interesting. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, what else? So yeah, uh, that does mean that there won't be a stream next weekend on the 16th i am canceling that stream in order to spend time with my family uh so that won't be happening i apologize sorry <laughs> um thanks for the plug sam good good on it yeah no that's that's fair uh mylan i i come at it from a very amateurish standpoint so that's fair i've done basically two solid game designs uh one for an rpg competition thing and another that i was just kind of working on i don't know <laughs> it'll get there eventually um what else was i thinking yeah so i uh i won't be doing any streams on the 16th but i will be back the 23rd and the 30th, I will be doing a stream on Sunday. And I will be also doing my t first year Twitch anniversary stream on May the 1st. Um, and that'll be a special stream. I'll actually be doing, I think I'll be playing games and not doing writing that day. That's the plan. So it'll be my first ever game stream, which is one of my goals for this year to do, which is exciting. Um, so yeah, I think what I'm gonna be playing is uh, The Wolf Among Us, and then maybe some Jackbox games with, because uh, they're all writing based and fun. And you guys can play along with me, which will be nice. So I'll be doing that. Um, what else? Oh, that will be at my regular noon time. I think I'll probably go probably three, four hours. I'm not entirely sure yet. I haven't nailed all those details down 100% uh, yet. But I just wanted to let you guys know that that will be a thing. So be hype. 
I think I did. Uh, I'm liking this new event manager thing that um, they've been doing. Uh, that Twitch put in, where it can kind of like you can create all your streams. Uh, and like put them in so people can see when when things are happening. I like it. <laughs> so yeah that's exciting um cool i think that's all i got for stream stuff coming up um yeah i think that's it if anyone has any questions for me now's the time to ask uh i'm opening it up to the floor um and then i'm probably gonna end yeah shortly whenever we're done talking i guess um, so yeah, thanks again for all of you, to all of you for coming out. I really appreciate it. It's good to have people here to talk with, uh, to talk about writing, to talk about art and creation and all those fun things that we do. Uh, I got scruffy cause I hate shaving. It's really a really annoying thing to do, um, and I need to do it, I guess. Pens, pens I use. Um, currently, my favorite pen that I use all the time is this one by Selitzer Goods. Come on, focus. Focus. By Selitzer Goods. Come on, focus. I know it was a joke. I'm just taking it seriously. Um, anyway, these things are sustainable. They last for a super long time. I really like the way it writes. Uh, they're kind of expensive though. So I only have one, but last forever. So other than that, I like like Bic pens and uh, um, Zebra Sanzas. Oh, police station, town hall. Uh, I don't think it would be a police station because the police station would be too small a gathering place. It depends whether or not they're going from there to another place or if they're gathering people there. Because I personally feel like unless the crisis is a natural disaster that's going to wipe out the town, they're probably going to issue a warning not to leave their houses, right? Right. Like, that's what I think. Then I think police station is fine. If the cop, if the cops are calling the gathering, then meeting at the police station makes sense. Cause then they can issue equipment and whatever else that they have at the station and then go from there. I think that makes the most amount of sense. Yeah, but if they're going from there to another place immediately, Sam, would it matter about weather and stuff? Like, I just, I don't know. Depends on the size of the town, too, right? Like, because what if the town hall and the police station are beside each other? In which case, it doesn't matter. Oh, 
Well, that's a good question, actually. What's the what's the a, re, a real life consequences of it? Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking. Okay. So uh, unless anyone has any more questions for me, I think I'm going to call the stream for today. What if the town hall and the police station are the same building? That's totally possible too. Um, I could 100% see a scenario in which the police station is like the basement floor of the town hall or something like that. Uh, like I, I could totally see that. But yeah, uh, I think I think that's it. If if anyone has any questions for me, ask right now. I'll give you guys a minute to catch up, and then uh, I'm gonna think I'm gonna call the stream for today. It was productive. I mean, we got those two short stories done. We had some fun with poetry. You know, I consider anything where I wrote like two, three hundred words a solid, productive stream in general. Um, so yeah. I wish I could see how much delay you guys had. Yeah, it's about 13 seconds or so, I think. Okay, cool. Yeah. 10 or 11 is good. Apparently to myself, when I look at my video preview, it's 17, which is funny, but whatever. That's the way it works, I guess. Uh, so yeah, I think that's going to be it for me for today, guys. Thanks for coming out. I really appreciate it. Um, as always, uh, you can check out my website below, accidentalorigin.com, uh, where I post VODs of all my episodes as well as additional resources and all of the files that we worked on. So all of my poem and uh, the flash fiction I did today will all be posted up there as well. I'm a little behind on that, but I will be catching up soon as i can i'm aware of the problem i'm working to fix on it i'm working to fix it um what else do i have for you guys uh, uh i think that's it um so without further ado my name is brendan this is the accidental origin your weekly writing web show thanks for tuning in thanks for the host guys i really appreciate it hit that follow button check us out have a good one. Bye.